Hello, and welcome to the channel that covers everything where health and technology meet. Now, not too far back, if I would have mentioned connected fitness home gym equipment, it would not have made a lot of sense. But now there are a plethora of options out there, and it can be a little bit intimidating trying to pick the right option, especially if you're just getting into this or trying to pick that one option that's going to be the thing you use for a long time, and you want that to be the perfect option for you. So in this video, we're going to cover all the different connected fitness options out there and try to break it down so you can pick the one that best matches what you're going to need and get the most out of. And I'm going to help you decide what the best option is for you via two main categories. And the first is just how good of a match it is for you. And the second category is how well does it align with your health goals. So first, the options I'm going to rule out. Now there are a lot of great connected fitness options out there, but some are better primary options while others are better secondary or third options as you look to expand your home gym. And I'm gonna use Fight Camp as an example of this. Well, an option like Fight Camp is a little less connected fitness than I'd like. When you think of the connected fitness experience, you wanna be able to go to it, turn it on, immediately see all the content, select something, and you're in, you're working out, you're having fun, and you're getting a great quality workout. And with Fight Camp, it's gonna take a little bit longer to get going. It's a little bit less connected fitness. You have to get those gloves on, you have to get your phone out and load the app, select the content, plug it into the TV, however you're gonna do that, or share the screen. There's a lot more to getting it set up. It's a little bit more manual and a little less automated. You don't just click it and go. It's not all integrated and built in together. And that's why I wanna start this off by putting the right questions in your head. So when you think about that primary connected fitness experience, you wanna be thinking about, can I use this easily? Will I enjoy that type of workout? When I do have that 25 minute window, is it gonna work for me? Am I gonna be able to maximize that? Or am I gonna be talking myself out of it because it's just a little bit too inconvenient? And those are all the things that turn the product you bought into something that gets barely used as opposed to used all the time. And that's why I'm ruling out Fight Camp, not because it's a bad product, it's just not the best primary option. So when you look at anything in the connected fitness space, I would ask those questions. But now let's move on to the options that I do think you should consider. Resistance training, rowing machines, and indoor cycling bikes. And I'm gonna start with resistance training. And if I had to pick one option, this would be it. And that's because I know I like lifting more than I like cardio. I also like that it mixes it up a little bit more. When it comes to rowers or bikes, you're doing a lot of the same motion over and over, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you're doing lifting, you know, you're doing different positions, you're lifting at different directions, you're doing all sorts of different things to keep you moving around, keep you engaged, and just keeping you entertained. And then when you throw on the connected fitness portion of it, you just get a lot more. It's like having your own personal trainer right in the house. And then on top of that, because of the technology built into these, they have a lot of features that really enhance the experience and the quality of the workout. So things like being able to change the resistance on the fly or having a spotter. So it's like you have a friend there supporting you if you need to get through a set. There are a lot of things built into these that make it enjoyable and make you want to keep using it. So from an excitement and a motivation perspective, it really works for me but do the things I've been talking about relate to you? So when it comes to matching your health goals, this is all about building muscle, strength, toning your body or building it in certain ways and not nearly as much on the cardio side. Now this does have cardio, so when you do some of the programs that are built into it, they'll say, you know, run in place or do jumping jacks or do different cardio activities, but it's not a function of the machine. It's not like you're on the bike or using the rower. So you have to ask yourself, if I want some cardio, am I willing to just stand in place and do things? And that's not a bad thing. And it's a great way to get cardio, but still get resistance training. But if you find yourself saying, no, I'm only going to do what the machine provides. If it's not on the machine or part of it, I don't want to do it. Well, this might not be an option for you if you really want cardio side of things. But if you're more on the resistance training and benefits you get from that, then this could be a fantastic match. And last for resistance training, I want to point out that this is the tonal behind me, which has been great. But there are other options like the Tempo or the NordaTrack Vault. So I'm trying to get my hands on those to provide you a proper review, but I don't have those yet. But I did want to point out there are other options. So if you think this is the category for you, shop around, look around the different options. There are choices out there. All right, so let's move on to bikes. But first, if you could hit that like button for me, it really does help out the channel and I really appreciate it. Now, as far as these go from a motivational perspective and ease of use, able to stick to a perspective, this is probably the best option for most people. And that has to do with just how easy it is to get on one of these and be using it quickly and enjoying the experience. When you decide you do have a window to work out, you throw some shoes on, jump on the bike, select a ride, and you're working out in a minute. It is very easy to get on and use these bikes. 
But from there, there is just so much content on them. There are all sorts of different instructors, different rides, different ride types, and just different ways to keep it entertaining. You'll never have to do the same ride twice. So it's easy for a lot of people just to jump in from the ease side, but also from the enjoyment, keeping you entertained and keeping yourself motivated. So when you do have that window, you don't go, oh, I don't feel like that. You're like, ah, I'm gonna be doing something new. There's so many bells and whistles integrated into these things these days. It's enjoyable to use and you find yourself being okay with coming back to it and exercising even on those days maybe you don't feel like it just because the connected fitness portion of these bikes and what they do keeps that enjoyment factor high. So from that perspective, most people I think are gonna relate to these pretty well. But do they match your health goals? Well, these are pure cardio. If you think about from a body impact perspective, you're not doing a lot except for your legs. Your upper body isn't doing anything. You're not doing arm workouts or anything like that. Your core is minimally engaged. You do want to hold good posture and there's that, but you're not exercising your core. You're not doing anything that challenges your back or your abs or anything like that. It is truly your legs. And by the end of a workout, your legs will be tapped. You will know you worked out hard but you have to really think of these as just strictly the cardio side of things, the fat burn side of things. And that is okay for a lot of people because a lot of people that are getting into this and getting their first exercise equipment, that's what they want. They just wanna get in better shape. They wanna burn calories. They wanna reclaim their health. And that's what cardio is gonna do and help a lot of people. So if that's where you're at and that matches what your goals are, this could be a fantastic fit. If you're looking for something that's more whole body or strength training, well, then this might lack in some areas. Now, a lot of these do have swivel monitors, so if you want, you can take the monitor, turn it, they have content, and you can do workouts next to the bike. So if you find yourself willing to do that, kind of the opposite of the tonal experience where with the tonal you lift, but you could do cardio next to it. Well, with these, you kind of have that same experience. So if you ask yourself if you would use that, well, that might help answer your questions on if this is a good fit for you from a health perspective. So our last category, before I give you my recommendation on what I think might be best for you, is rowers. And not too far back, I had bought a rower that was not connected fitness space. And to be completely honest, I was just doing that same rowing motion over and over, staring at the wall, and I quickly got burned out. And I ended up selling it. I just couldn't stick to it. I wasn't having enough fun. And lately, I got very interested in if these connected fitness-based rowers solve that problem and keep the interest level up high enough that you enjoy doing that style of workout. So I've been testing on Nergata. But I also have the Norder Track here. I have the Hydra on the way and the Averon rower coming. So if you're interested in learning more, I'm gonna have a lot of videos coming out. So hit that subscribe button so you do know when those come out. But so far with my initial testing, I can say that they've done a fantastic job making it much more interesting. And I've been really enjoying the rowing experience, especially with the way they have gamified the experience. I enjoy that and I just think it makes it fun and lets you learn more about the rowing experience. And that's more than just kind of going all out every row. You can do different things and work on your power versus speed. And in those games, you can do things to target those different levels. So it keeps you engaged, interested, and in trying different things than just doing that same motion over and over. My only concern is, can the average person that's getting into this, trying to get back to their health and trying to get that one primary new form of exercise, can they sit down and row for 30 to 45 minutes every day or whenever they wanna work out? So I think the big question that most people have to ask them from an enjoyment or motivational perspective is, is this a primary option for you? And could you sit down and that's your one option you would enjoy and you'd keep doing it? Or is this a better secondary option? But from a health goals perspective, rowing is a fantastic option. And if you've never rowed before, it is serious work, which means you're gonna get a lot of cardio on an option like this. But the advantage here is that it engages your entire body. So you're gonna get a full body workout. And if you think about the motion of rowing, you have to push out, but then you have to pull back in. So your legs are very engaged but you also have to lean back and hold good posture, keeping your upper body real straight so your back and your core are very, very engaged and you get a fantastic core workout. But then you're also pulling that rower in and then releasing it. So your arms, your shoulders, your upper back are engaged. And if you're not catching on to this, what I mean is your entire body is very involved and it is a fantastic whole body workout. And to wrap up this video, let's talk about my recommendations real quick. And to be perfectly honest, I think the bike is probably gonna be the best option for most people. And the reason for that is most people that are getting their first piece of home gym equipment are probably coming from a place where they need to reclaim their health. You're looking to just get in better shape, to have more energy on the things you do on a daily basis, to maybe just start to get your body to a state you want through calorie burn. 
and the bike is probably going to be the option that is easiest to use, most motivational, and the thing that you just can say when I have that window, you're going to go use it. It's just easy to talk yourself into it and enjoy that experience. So if people that are coming from that perspective, I think the bike is going to match where they're coming from and what they want to achieve while keeping them motivated but also giving them the results and that cardio burn that they need. But the other two options as far as resistance training and rowing are fantastic options as well for the reasons I've already stated. Resistance training and those machines are very engaging. You get your own personal trainer and you can really just go do what you want if you like resistance training. You're going to be able to manipulate your body, strengthen it in the ways you want. And it's a lot of fun because it does mix up the workout and it's not just that same motion over and over. But again, rowers from a balance perspective, it is probably one of the best workouts I've ever had. You are breathing so hard, your heart is racing, you know you are burning serious calories, but you also know it's not just cardio. Your whole body's engaged and you're truly strengthening and balancing your entire body. So there are very serious pros to getting a rower as well. So all are fantastic options. I think the bike is probably gonna be the match for most people and where they're coming from. But hopefully at this point in the video, you're leaning in one direction or the other and this has helped you identify the route that you wanna go. Now I do have plenty of other videos reviewing all these different products if you wanna figure out what bike is best for you or soon to be coming up what rower is best for you. So do check those out if you need a little more help. But hopefully this has helped you out. Hit that like button if you don't mind. Subscribe to stay on top of everything where health and technology meet. And until next time, here's to a healthier you and have a good one.